Okay, good. Uh, so this is uh, Citizens Oversight. Um, please mute your phone. Whoever joined us, uh, please mute your phone. Uh, okay. Let me... Uh, let me... Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I figured it out. Okay, um, I'm just going to start with uh, everybody muted for right now so we don't have any more uh, interruptions as we get started. Let me restart. Okay, hello, this is Ray Lutz with uh, Citizens Oversight. It is uh, August 31st, and uh, we just got done with the Florida um, primaries, um, which occurred yesterday, and um, between our last conference call su Sunday and, and yesterday, we did quite a bit of work. I want to thank uh, Margaret Carlock and... Um, also, Deborah Teal for helping uh, with specific um, work that we did to organize the suggestions for oversight that we compiled. Um, and, and we're hoping that we can get people from the uh, PDA and other networks to help us out with providing much needed oversight in Florida. Now, this document is called Oversight Suggestions in Arizona and Florida for 2016-08 Primary, the August, um, August 2016 is what that means. Now, we've already uh, targeted the counties. In Florida, we picked 15 counties, the top 13, and two more, which gave us around um, uh, I believe 70 or 75 percent of the vote. Um, no, 71 percent I have down here. Uh, so we're, we're hitting most of the state with only hitting 15 counties to start with. And so that is a really good approach. What we found was that um, the schedule, and let me refresh this page because I already did, oh, you know what, um, yeah, it should come through if I refresh it here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I wanted to highlight um, some of the most important ones here because these are happening either today or tomorrow. I'm sorry, either tomorrow or Friday. Most of them are happening in the list. Most of the key oversight that we need to do will occur tomorrow. So I know we may not be ready in all these places, but we've got to um, do all we can to oversee this, um, these public meetings. And I, I did send out an email, which is also included in this document here, to, uh, oh, and by the way, we also included the two um, main counties in Arizona in our, in our um, email. And this email was sent to all of the elections officials. I got a whole bunch of responses, which are also put down in the bottom here, of what their responses were. Most of them were confirming the dates that we had already. Um, some, um, but none of them said, you can't video record, because this is one of the things that I put in here, that we were planning to video record their public meeting on selecting. And selecting the random... Uh, the random race and the pre the one percent of precincts for that random race is very important that they don't they don't uh, know in advance what those are because then it makes the the audit completely worthless. Uh, the one thing I I discovered in their in their law, which is something we can talk about, is that um, one way to rig this. Uh, I thought of this last night would be if you wanted to um, hack uh, a race in the election, you would go ahead and and make all the changes you needed to in that in that race. And then if you happen to hit that in your county, then you would simply go through a recount of some other race. And so that would that would eliminate the audit 
and it would then put the focus on some other race and then no one would see that. So I think that would be one way to, to, to uh, hack it and um, pretty much you can, you can change the, the race at will. If you can also get in a recount request, um, file it so that they get distracted and they never recount it then. Not sure if that would actually work out, but it's something I was thinking of. So that's where we are um, at this point. I believe, uh, let me just cover my suggestions here, that they, they watch any provisional screening that's going on. I know that there's some that's going to be going on in the next um, few days. Um, the snapshot file is somewhat, is sort of simple for um, these counties in Florida because apparently they have the official results all done before they start the manual tally process. And if that's the case and if it's published somewhere, then we can just pull it down with no additional request to the registrar to provide it. That isn't the case in California where they do it incrementally and we have to get the snapshot file in the middle so that that's why it's called snapshot so we can we can get what what they're counting at that time versus this thing at the end which doesn't even match what they're counting that's why we had trouble uh, there so it, here it looks like that's not going to be any difficulty at all and then the audit selection meeting very important and this is happening mostly tomorrow or Friday one in one case and we want to see if we can get as many of these video recorded as possible. Now at this late time, I don't know if we can get that to happen, but we really need to make our calls to people in those counties. It's only 15 counties. We need to see if we can find 15 activists in 15 counties to go into these meetings and video record them so this can be shared and we can see what goes on in those counties. And then watching the manual tally procedure is here, but it's actually not as important, in my view, as getting that, uh, making sure that we observe the selection process. I believe that is my presentation for right now. And so what I'll do is make sure your phones are muted. Um, I'm going to um, actually see if I can do this. I'm going to all turn everybody on, see what happens. Okay, good. So um, so now let's see here. Maybe, Margaret, since you're in Florida, maybe you'd like to take the floor, excuse me, and talk about what happened because you were there during this election and, and what the outlook is. Go ahead. Um, I actually had a conversation with our, our supervisor of elections in Citrus County um, and told her that I, I was going to attend the random selection and the audit process. And she, she seemed to know about it already, but I had been in contact with the office. And um, I, I mentioned bringing a, a, a camera to the selection process and got a little bit of pushback on that, but, but she didn't say I couldn't do it. So I'm thinking that I don't, I hope it's not going to be a problem. And um, I intend to have my, at least my phone camera with me. Well, I think it's, in that case, it's probably more, they're just not used to anybody showing up at all. And so if somebody says, I'm going to show up and video record it, it's just very, very unusual. So um, we're going to make a big splash if we can, if we can pull this off on, on these counties. But okay, so um, yeah, so I, I, I actually didn't get any pushback either in all the counties, and I got um, probably about 10 responses. So um, they didn't say no, at least so far. And I don't think that they can. So I think we need to assert our rights in that case. OK, so go ahead, Margaret. The problem we're going to have tomorrow and Friday is we have a hurricane coming through central Florida. And that's where the, uh, um, the counties that are having their, their uh, selection process, Orange County, um, Seminole County and Marion County, those are Central Florida. In fact, Marion County, I was planning to go to because it's 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 not far from me, 
but um, it's going to depend on the weather. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I mean, um, was it? Do you think it impacted the election at all so far? Oh no, no. The election timing timing of the election was good, and timing of a lot of the other meetings is going to be fine because they'll be next week, and it should be through it, here and out of here. Is that is that rain I'm hearing in the background? Is that rain? Not <laughs> no. <right> for me. <laughs> okay, just one. <laughs> Just wondering. All right. So yeah, that is um, is going to be interesting. So let's see tomorrow. Let's just take a look at the list again. We're looking at nine a.m. Uh, no, that's five. See, I didn't understand this one in Marion because in the email for Marion down here, they said something differently. Um, Marion said. Uh, the Marion County Canvassing Board will be meeting on September 6th at 3 p.m. That's September 6th, not tomorrow. Um, so I don't know what the story is there. Maybe they've changed the date because what we had earlier, what you had um, harvested, or I believe um, you did the harvesting of these inf this information is that correct, Margaret? Yes, and I think what what that notification is talking about, the canvassing board will be meeting to do the actual audit on the 6th. But the the random selection will come right after the certification of results, which is tomorrow. Okay, well, what you had down here was 5.01 p.m. on uh, tomorrow. And then here's one in orange at 10 a.m., and then yes. in uh, Pinellas County at 3 p.m., Sarasota at 4.30 p.m., and Seminole County at 5 p.m. Is it Seminole or Seminole? It's Seminole. And actually, if someone lives in the Orlando area, mm -hmm. they could do both the Orange County and the Seminole because they're not that far. There so are one different times. Potentially cover both of those. <clears throat> okay, do you have somebody that can cover both of those? Is Mike Fox on the phone? How did you did you say you had a name of somebody that was going to cover those or just guessing that somebody could do it? No, I'm, I'm saying if there was someone who lives in Orlando in the Orlando area, they could cover both of those. Okay, okay. All right, well, geez, you'd think we could find somebody in the Orlando area to do that. Um I might be able to find, I have some relatives that are near uh, Sarasota or maybe in the Sarasota County. Maybe they could do this one. Um, <clears throat> in, in Sarasota, that's at 4.30 p.m. But again, what you're saying is going to be, uh, what is the outlook for, for these uh, hurricanes that are coming through? Do you think they're going to be hitting tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow and Friday. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's going to make. They it. actually even cancel these meetings. I mean, they may send everybody home early, depending on the weather. Yeah, I think that would be reasonable if they're trying to get the public in, and yet it's super dangerous to come to them. Um. Okay. So, anything else that you'd like to say um, at this time? No. Okay. Well, what was your experience? You did the poll. You were working as a poll worker yesterday. How did that go? Um, it went very smoothly. Uh, everything was very organized. We had enough people. Um, we had voters. There, we had so many mail-in votes and early votes that the actual election day votes were not overwhelming at all. Um, so I think that that really helped. Okay. And you were working in Citrus County area then. Yes, okay. and I noticed that, in, at least in Citrus County, there were very few provisional ballots. Okay. All right, so um, let's, uh, let's see if, um, if Deborah, let's see, oh, here, let's see if I can turn you on. I can't turn you on for some reason. Um,
I don't. Deborah, can you? There. You, yeah. Hello. Deborah, are you there? I heard something and then it went back off. I was thinking she could chime in because she's been helping quite a bit on this. Uh, let's see. Is there? Um, uh, basically, the question before us right now is how can we get these meetings covered? Um, I'm just going to, if I'm going to try this, uh, I'm going to try turning on everybody and then, why isn't that working? Okay, well, as many as I've been able to turn on is turned on. If you'd like to um, make a suggestion on how we can get people into these into these meetings for, it's probably only about a half an hour of watching what they're doing is what's needed right now. And it has to, I mean, it's going to be really hard with all this weather and so forth. Any ideas? Deborah, can you, you're offline, says, okay, so no one has any ideas at all. Um, I guess I'm just going to, I guess, appeal to, to everyone as possible here to see if we can't. Uh, I know Mike Fox put out something to PDA. We can, I can get back to him and see if he... Um, can find people to go to these one, two, three, four, five, six different meetings. Um, well, actually, we only have five. One, two, three, four, five meetings tomorrow. Not too hard. Five meetings with a with your camera phone taking a video. Ray. Yeah. Who's this? This is Leanda. Is there any possibility that with the weather as uh, precipitous as literally it's supposed to be that this would be canceled? Um, it might be. You know, let's face it. If if they get hit really hard with a hurricane, um, where you know we're talking about uh, life or death situations, then why would you have a meeting? in the middle of a hurricane that will pass within a day or two. Exactly. Um, if but, anyone wants to speak, they have to unmute themselves on the control panel. Well, I have I unmuted everybody, so I think... I had to do mine manually. Okay, you had to do it yourself? All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have to unmute yourself. I can't do it for you, but... I can't stop you from unmuting yourself either, and that's the interesting part about this thing. I can't prevent people from unmuting themselves. Um, so, yeah, you have to do it. You have to unmute yourself on the control panel if you're working on your computer. And I think if you're on your phone, you just you just unmute your, your phone. Okay, it doesn't. And if it's better, if you're on your phone, if you actually use your computer so that you can link up the name that we see that I can see I don't know if everybody else can see it and uh, and your phone number I see caller three four six you know I don't know who that is okay so basically we're back to one concept is maybe they will postpone these I don't think there's any way to find that out in time because tomorrow like at 10 o'clock we're supposed to have somebody in Orange County. That's the first one that I see here. Um, is there now? I, I thought the contacts with uh, Mike Mike Fox uh, was pretty good. Um, wasn't that? Uh, let's see. I can't see this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the attendee list. Okay, so wasn't it, Deborah, are you able to, I see, offline. I 
Okay, I don't know why you're offline, Deborah, but um, maybe something happened there. I was hoping that she could. Uh, is, does anyone else have any ideas? If you want to mute, unmute yourself, if you do, for, for somebody that we can find in Orange County at 10 o'clock, that would be the first one we have to deal with. Is there a way you can get in touch with uh, Mike Fox? I did. Um, he did send me uh, some emails, and uh, that's a good idea. Um, in the last couple of days, we were in communication because we, uh, here is Mike Fox. I don't have anything except for his email address. Um, so I guess I can try to appeal to him on these. And if I give him very specific information about these five locations for tomorrow, if possible. And all, I guess all we can do is cross our fingers and hope that we get a little bit more time because of the weather. Uh, I think it's pretty insane to have public meetings of something extremely important that we're supposed to watch in the middle of a, of a, of a hurricane. Ah, crazy. All right, so uh, that this is an example, though, of of basically what we have to do to do this oversight protocol. It's not a lot. It's going to these meetings, but you have to do it to you know as many counties as possible. And getting the snapshot file in this case is fairly easy to do. But what we can, I guess, ask people to do from anywhere is to help by getting the the um, these official results as soon as they're published so that we get them all okay and I guess Margaret you might want to be on top of that one where uh, these counties that we've targeted we just download all of their all of their uh, official results when they publish them and then that's taken care of for everybody yes I can do that I can do that um, also, I, I will plan to go to Marion County, weather permitting. Yeah, okay. Uh, good. Well, when is, well, Marion tomorrow. is tomorrow at 5 p.m. Well, maybe you'll, you'll miss the storm. Um, okay. So I guess this is, this is really all I wanted to talk about tonight was just getting this, figuring out how to get this done. Um, and I guess if there's the only idea that I have is just to contact Mike Fox. He says he has a list. If anybody has contacts with anybody in these areas, just friends in these areas, you can say, look, I need you to go into this, uh, you know, what, you know, I don't want to ask people to go out in the middle of a hundred mile an hour wind. So, um, just to go to this meeting. So we, we might. We might have to miss these, you know, because it's just not important enough to ask people to to uh, go in the middle of a hurricane. And I guess Can we, we say this? I'm sorry. Go ahead. This is Leanna again. Um, I'm wondering in the, um, for race if anybody who might be on his page as a supporter, um, if we could appeal to any people along that way to, you know, contact them on Facebook or through social media. Um, I'm sure everybody is really totally shocked about that result. And it might encourage somebody to come out and actually check this. I, I like that idea. Um, you know, um, I, I agree. This is David um, calling from California. So can you hear me? Okay. What is your name? Because it's not coming up on my screen. My name is David. David. I'm calling David Smith. I, I was on one of the previous calls, I think probably a month okay. ago. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, hi. Mom. Um, so I, I, I agree with that. Um, I think we should get in contact with Tim Canova and some of his supporters, and they can get the word out pretty much right now. I mean, Bernie Sanders activists are online. You know, a lot of us have, uh, like, SMS phone chains. 
So like, for example, Jill Stein is uh, showing up in L.A. at the Bernie Cafe at 7.30. And uh, they got the word out, you know, within minutes, really, of that happening. So the, the infrastructure exists to do it. We just have to post. I'll post this around on Facebook places. And you probably, will, within a few hours, you should have some people going. OK, so um, yes, I. Um, uh, I love that idea. I think, um, let's see, what will be the most effective? Uh, does, is this, uh, this is a page that I set up that gives all the suggestions. I think that maybe we need to focus people in on just this one task. Uh, I agree. Right. So I'm going to take a screenshot of, of the times and I'll post that around uh, so that people can, people can see it. And then I'll also uh, send it off to um, one of the organizers here in Los Angeles and see if she can get the word out. Well, one thing we can do here is on this page you can sort by clicking on it, see what happens. I'll sort the other way. Um, uh, it's not working quite right because the dates are not in sortable order. Uh, so That's okay. I mean, I can I can cut it and paste it. So yeah. at least I can. Tr I'll do what I can to try to get the word out. Okay, good. Okay, so David Smith, thank you very much for that. Um, so I think let's just everybody do that. I I see no reason to go on and on. What we've got to do is get the get people to these these five counties, uh, starting here with Marion, Miami Dade. We can skip. I'm going to put these all in the right order at the top. You know, I'm going to put these in the order so that when you get to this page, these first ones will be at the top. And there, okay. then, then uh, people will be able to just look at, uh, we need, uh, and I'll put, we need people to uh, basically this step, audit screening meeting, okay, okay. video record. And I, I'll try to put that right at the top, so in one little, like screenshot right here, we'll put okay. so that because that's pretty effective on Facebook getting the those little meme type things. The images yeah. tend to be shared a lot better, and we Absolutely. need people to video record out, these meetings. Okay, I can get it out really fast too. So okay, so I'll tell you what. Um, what is the best way for for us to promulgate that? Should I put that? I'll put that on the citizens oversight page. Okay. Uh, uh, as a as a screenshot kind of a graphic and then it's, okay. we need people to video record these meetings at Got it. Alert. And so put that put, put what you want on there whatever you want me to copy and I'll I'll put it around okay good I will yeah so I will put that on citizens oversight and then we can just share it from there that's this yeah. is, okay. this, this is a this really is Leanda okay um, Leanda okay go ahead I think it's also important um, before people are willing to volunteer, we have to let them know how much time it's going to take. So like to let them know this is not going to be a huge deal, but it is a really important uh, thing that someone can do. Right. It's, uh, um, it's only going to take, at like at most, an hour uh, yeah. to do this. Um, and so well, maybe five minutes. It's really not going to take long at all. That's what they told me. It's over in about five minutes. Yeah, they may be right, only like five minutes. That's a good point. Um, so point that out, definitely, because that's how you're probably more able to get someone who will make a commitment to do it. I'm going to put okay. uh, I'll put that right at the top up there. I'm moving these up right now, and then I'll put Lee after it. This is the This is the raw part of it. How about if I, I say, put here? Please. You want to save democracy in five minutes? <laughs> you know, right, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, come up, we'll come up with some copy. So. Video record the audit selection meetings below. And uh, highlighted. Okay, 
Something happened. Something happened to your file. What's that? To your table. Something happened to your table. It looks very strange. Uh, well, I have to save this. So you're saying it looks oh, okay. strange? Yeah, because that's the that's the um, you know the markup text. So why why did this get stuck out there? That's, oh, I moved it around and I must have missed something. Is Hillary on the call? <laughs> Who? Who? Hillary. She's the one doing something to your files. <laughs> um, somehow I got something wrong here. See emails below. I don't see the problem. Well, I'll tell you what, I won't take everybody's time. Oh, here it is. Look what happened. Um, uh, right there. And then Sarasota. Okay, I'll have to work on that to get it right. Separation of ballots at something. Uh, Oh, here it is, wrapped around. Oh, that's bad, 8 a.m. I think that's right. Uh, Starkey Road, okay, see, in Largo, Florida. Um, sorry for all this, but it actually gives you a chance to see what's going on. Um, you have the file that has the addresses as well? Yeah, I was going to put that in here. Uh, that was one of the things I wanted to do. But that will be too much for the little graphic. But I did get this one, uh, and I put that in. Let's see if I got this right. It's kind of a little bit difficult to do it in raw mode like that if you get too much markup <coughs> in it. <coughs> <coughs> There they are. Now let's see. That, you know, because it needs to be sort of a square thing, maybe I can, we can get rid of the AMs at and stuff in there. I'll tell you what, I'll work on it separately. All right, any other ideas? This is a great idea. I'll get this done and I'll put it up on the Citizens Oversight Yay. website. Um, Bonnie, um, Okay, just left, I guess. Any further comments before we close the meeting? I'm John, file. Okay, John, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do, uh, I got Pima County covered real hard, and I'm going to see if I can get somebody to photograph the Maricopa one. I, I did the Maricopa one before, and I have a video I published, I think I sent to you, that shows how they pre-rig, meaning that they would not commit the election results beforehand. You follow me? And that's always very important that when they do the lottery, have they publicly committed the results? And are they in the room? Could that observer walk out with them or get those numbers on the precincts that were pulled? You follow me, Ray? Yeah, that's the snapshot. To, you know, that's so, what we've been saying. We have to get that the, those those results before they pull the the selection. Otherwise, they'll, they just go back in and. Uh, and undo their fixing once they know what they are. Right, and so basically what they must get is the precinct level snapshots because they try giving them something else. Right, We here's what I say, we need the results separated out by precinct, race, and ballot type. Yes, sir, that's right. And we just want to stress that. Yeah, Thank and so, so, so mm. we're, we're, we're covering that, but it turns out that apparently in Florida, um, they claim, anyway, according to their law, that the results are certified ahead of time. So it's, yeah, but I'll tell you what. What we need, though, is we couldn't find any information for Maricopa County in terms of um, when they're doing their audit selection. Or and I, I, what apparently is happening there at the 8:31, which already happened, which was just a planning meeting where they just say we're starting the audit, but we're not going to do anything yet, right? Yeah. They do that with the political parties. Yes. 
Okay, so that's one that we don't really have to look at, and we don't have to worry about this for, well, until 9-3, which that's, how can that be? 9-3 uh, can't be right. Can it? Yeah, no, that is right. It's on a Saturday, and they do it at a hotel right next to their facility. Because I did the last, well, I went there in November uh, and videoed and, yeah, which they didn't do it properly. It's a real scam. Okay, so I, I, I want, if you can document that as much as possible, um, John, video record as much as you can so we can tell what's going on. You bet. And then if, and can you, do you have access to the Maricopa County information? Yeah, I do. I got contacts. I did file a records request on Maricopa, and uh, uh, I don't know when they're going to do the lottery. You said you couldn't find it. They like to do it on election night. It's pull the lottery and then start moving things around, and it's awful. I mean, I've done it three times up there and fought with them every time. Oh, that's pathetic. Okay. So, so we are we're working with real um, corruption in Maricopa County. And Pima. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So, uh, but if you can get, uh, I guess you're not able to get the dates. You're saying that they're, well, do whatever you can and send me whatever you can find. Okay. All right. So, um, anyone else want to talk? Ray, I just sent you a file that has all the contact information for the supervisor of elections, supervisors of elections. No, I had that already. Remember, we we, uh, we did that. It just needs to be added in here. I can at okay. least add, I can at least add um, that to each one of these in this top five, which we want people to look at. I'm going to be cutting this off so that it's just just these just these top five that we're looking for and minimal information, maybe like that. Yeah, get it, those. And then if we, I'll put the, um, well, you can't see it, but I'll put the, the, um, the location over here and then I'll just cut it in a big square and then we'll share that around to say video record the audit selection meeting. I think that'll work. I think the people will respond to that. Hopefully they'll send it around and we can get people to these meetings. E, you know, and I guess I'll have to put in the link here, check this page or, or you know, as part of the post for information. If we find out that I guess we're going to need to, to be calling them tomorrow and finding out if there's any postponements um, of these meetings, then we need to know what they are so we can direct the people to try to cover them. Otherwise, we've got to struggle to try to get there. Okay, so thank you, Margaret. Anyone else want to say anything? Okay, I don't hear anyone. Sometimes it takes a while for people to um, get back on. Uh, I guess. Sense. Julia, is that who is who was talking just now? Attendees, Let's see. You have to unmute your microphone. So, Julia, did you want to talk? No. Okay. So I don't hear anyone trying to get on. Um, I think we have our game plan figured out. I'm going to put the the addresses of each of the facilities here. I'm going to make a little graphic. I'm going to share it on the Copswick uh, Citizens Oversight Facebook page and wherever we can and start spreading this around and then see who can respond with their video camera to go into these meetings. Done. That's, um, okay. Okay. All right. So in that case, uh, with that said, I'm going to be uh, working on that. I'll get it posted right away, and then uh, we'll go from there. Thank you for attending. Meeting adjourned.